Hello, 10th grade champions, and welcome to your summary under 10 minute session with me. Today, we will be going over the poem Fire and Ice by Robert Frost. It's a rather short poem, so we will read it together once and then understand it better. So, let's get to it. Some say the world will end in fire, some say in ice. From what I've tasted of desire, I hold with those who favor fire. But if it had to perish twice, I think I know enough of hate. To say that for destruction ice is also great and would suffice. Now a short poem with a lot of meaning packed into it. So let's unpack all of that meaning together. So the poem expresses the idea that the world will end someday either by fire or by ice. Here the poet has compared fire and ice with the self-destructing emotions of human beings. The fire and ice poem beautifully describes how humans let these extreme emotions rule over them. In this poem, the poet expresses the two ways in which the world may end. Some people say that the world will end by fire, while others say that it will end by ice. The poet compares fire and ice with the self-destructive nature of human beings. According to the poet, fire stands for things like desire, greed and lust. There is no end to such emotions. The more humans try to fulfill them, the more rapidly these emotions spread, just like fire. And then these feelings often engulf human life and they get trapped in them. As a result, people become egoistic, selfish and cruel. On the other hand, the poet describes ice as the rigid, rough and hateful, cold side of human beings. People become harsh and do not care about the emotions and feelings of others. They are indifferent to other people's happiness or sorrow. The poet says that he is aware about the fiery desires of human emotions, so he will favour those who think that fire will end the world. Then the poet rethinks again and he imagines that if the world actually had to end twice, then ice has the capability similar to fire to destroy the entire world. The poet says that since ice and fire both are growing with such rapid speed, the world will end soon, either by fire or by ice. So, the poet is actually asking us to get a grip on our emotions and don't let your emotions take the better of you. All right. That brings us to the end of our analysis. But before I say goodbye, as always, remind us for you to like all the sessions. You, you tell us that you like them in the comments, but make sure to hit that like button as well. Subscribe to the channel. We are a growing family. We've grown so much this past year and we want to keep growing. So do subscribe, those of you who haven't. And press the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of the updates for these fantastic sessions that we're coming up. For, for you. All right. Now, Baiju Spoken English Classes is a special program designed for those who want to become more confident English speakers. I know a lot of us struggle when it comes to speaking English, especially in public. So this is perfect for you. You get a safe space to practice. You get good mentors and amazing teachers to help you through the process. And you have a curriculum that is designed specifically to make your spoken English skills much better. So you have the Confident Speaker program going on at a discount. Do make use of this discount. Link is in the description. Check it out right away. Also check out all the important playlists that have been curated just to help you out. All right. Thank you so much and I will see you next time.